All right, today we're doing a Jolly Bees review. This is the Jolly Bees in Kalihi on Oahu in Hawaii. We got regular size fries. Bag's kind of oily, so it's leaking through. We have a chicken sandwich, chicken tenders, six piece bucket, and peach mango pie. And they also gave us these knives. Look, look how weirdly shaped they are. Ketchup, and I think it's gravy. I don't know what this gravy is for. It looks like KFC gravy. Anyways, hmm. tastes like KFC gravy. So, as a reminder, we're judging on a 1 to 10 scale. 1 is... I'm going to spit it out because it's that bad. Three is I would complain to my server in a restaurant if it's bad enough that I would complain about it. Five is average. Seven is very well done. And eight, nine, ten. So one to seven is execution. Eight to ten is they have to do something special, whether it be creativity or whatever it is, they're ethical or whatever, to get a higher score. All right, so we'll move this out of the way. And we'll go in order. And I'm just going to leave the gravy here because I don't know what it's for, so I'm going to use it wherever it's applicable. First, we have... Jolly Bee's regular fries. And it comes in a bag. Has some extra in there. I like it when they put it in a bag and there's extra fries. Except for when it's greasy like that and it leaks through. So, upon closer inspection, you can see no granules of salt. They don't put salt on it. I tried it when it was fresh too, because I know I, I drove home, but yeah, no salt. French fries alone, I would give it, now keep in mind, I don't compare apples to oranges. When I judge French fries, I'm judging them on the whole scale of French fries that I know exists. Fast food fries, steak fries, whatever. So, I'll give these a four because it, they would be average fries if there was actually salt on it. All right, this gravy. Tastes like um, those microwave dinners when you get the Salisbury steak, the red box. I don't know what brand it is. Tastes exactly like that gravy. Now, this gravy is being compared to all sauces in existence. Bechamels, mother sauces, Chinese sauces, every type of sauce. I'll give it a three because it's just salty and it tastes like what you would imagine thickened chicken stock or beef stock, you know, the, the bouillon cubes, if you melted it into water and then you thickened it, is what you get. Yeah, three is too low. I wouldn't complain about it if I got in a restaurant. I'd just be disappointed. I give it a four.
French fries four, gravy four. Next up, chicken sandwich. I didn't know they had a chicken sandwich. So, first off, looks very nice. Bun is soft. Very generous on the mayo. Yeah, it's mayo, it's not QP. And they put mayo on the bottom too. That's a lot of mayo. Both sides and then the buns. The bottom is hard. The bottom bun is hard. The top bun is soft. Let's try it. I'm already disappointed by the it just being mayonnaise. So I think the warmer is heated on the bottom because the bottom bun is dry and the top one isn't. So I think the bottom one protected the top one. And because it was sitting in there so long, the bottom started, it heated the bottom and then the moisture started to steam from the bottom and it got caught in the top bun. <laughs> so I'm gonna take another bite. You can see the fibers in the chicken. The crust on the chicken is good. It's not crispy, but it's hard, hard, crispy, crunchy. It's kind of crunchy, but it's not crunching. The actual chicken is actually not that dry, but it is. That's actual chicken. It's not ground up chicken or anything. I'll give that a five. I'd rather eat that than the fries. That's why I give it a five. Now, let's give it one more bite with gravy. Yeah, everything's better with gravy because it adds moisture. Got to drink it with my uh, McDonald's water. <sighs> Next up, chicken tenders. We got two here. So if you look at the batter on this one, this area over here, it looks kind of, uh, there's no craggly bits. It's just plain old batter, and that's boring. So I'm going to eat the other one just to give it a better chance because it has more crispy bits on it. <clears throat> the crust is more crisp, um, light and the crust is lighter than the chicken sandwich one. The tender is more tender. It's a little bit more juicy than the other one too. Five point five. It's a decent 
average, slightly above average chicken tender. Executed well. That's why it gets the. That's why I got a five point five. That was a well executed average piece of chicken. Okay. We got this now. In the bucket. Uh, I'll eat over this thing. Get a thigh piece. Let's try just the skin. Skin's not greasy. That crunches. You heard that crunch. If I was just rating the skin on fried chicken skin, I think I would get a seven. Meat's juicy. It is a thigh. Tastes like chicken inside. And if they brined it a little bit more aggressively, the inside would be a little bit saltier. But that's a that's a me thing. So I think for the average consumer, this is good. So inside, juju. Skin is crispy. Now, compared to all fried chicken in the world, seven is perfect execution for what it is. I would give the fried chicken this one looks no hmm. six and a half for seven. Six and a half. Because well executed will have some seasoning on it too. It just tastes like a normal plain fried chicken. Okay. Also, the skin has some, uh, the batter is kind of, there's some dry flour flavor still on it. Okay, last thing. Peach mango pie. So, I'm assuming this is like McDonald's fried apple pie. It looks like McDonald's fried apple pie. Hmm. Neon yellow inside. It's crispy. It doesn't have the, the blisters on top like McDonald's. It has a little bit on the bottom. Obviously, it's not fresh, but I'm going to dip it in the gravy because I said I would dip everything in the gravy. Mmm. <laughs> Mango peach gravy. <laughs> All right. 
without the gravy. The dough is a little pasty between the filling and the outside. The, the fruits taste like uh, like they're uh, canned canned fruits. So I would give I'll give it a four and a half. All right, overall rating for Jolly B. Average on everything, I would say five and a half. That's my review.